Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this one we're looking at the Studio Series SL600 USB condenser microphone from Editor's Keys. Now Editor's Keys have been doing silicon covers and also editing keyboards and they also branched out into speakers at the end of 2014. Now we're going to look at the SL600 which is their latest and greatest microphone. Now going over a few improvements of the SL150 that we previously looked at, it, this one also features a headphone adjustment as well which gives you real time playback so you can adjust it if you need to. And it also features gain control as well so you can turn the microphone up or down depending on how you like to use it. If you're using it further away you want to turn the gain up or if you're actually using it closer to you then you want to turn it down. So it gives you a nice lot of adjustment there and uh, obviously for whatever need you wish you can adjust it independently. It's a plug and play microphone as well, so it works off straight away out of the box. You do get a three year warranty and also lifetime support from Editor's Keys as well. Now the SL600 uses a 34mm gold plated diaphragm with a 16 bit 48kHz sampling rate. You've got a frequency response from 30Hz to 18kHz. As usual you do get a shock mount included as well and it also just connects by USB so it's nice and easy to use. Opening up the case it comes very well padded. They take very good care with their products to make sure they're very well protected on the move. There's the microphone itself which is built very very well, it's also very heavy as well which shows a sign of quality and the lovely orange and black theme. You do get an instruction manual and also a USB A to B cable and then there's the shock mount as well, powdered black to match the microphone, very easy to set up as well. So taking a bit of a closer look at the microphone itself on the front we can see the gain controls and also the headphone control. This will allow us to independently adjust however you want to use the microphone in your own personal setups. You guys that may do commentaries you may find that you want to put the microphone closer to you with the lower gain. That means basically you can minimise the background noise and uh, make sure you get a really nice clear audio. If you're talking for 10 minutes for example you don't want to have any background noise in it as uh, generally those kind of length videos you wouldn't edit. Makes things a lot easier in the long run. There's the nice studio series branding that we're used to as well as well as the headphone jack as well as the shock mount comes nicely elasticated very easy to adjust and also very easy to set up as well just a single screw thread for the microphone which we'll show you in a minute on the side we've got our 0 to minus 10 decibel switch if you need to use that and also the other side houses the high pass filter Generally I found using just it on the normal default setting was the perfect one for me, but the option is there if you wish to use it. Also the nice orange mesh which houses the 34mm diaphragm. There is a blue LED as well that glows when the microphone is plugged in. And on the base we can see the USB connection and also the screw thread for the microphone to the shock mount which we're just going to show you now. Then we can see the screw thread for the shock mount and the microphone, very easy to install. Then you can set it up onto whatever you wish, like a mic arm or maybe a desk stand. And it's also elasticated in six positions as well to make sure it's very stable when you don't get any shocks go through. There's our headphone jack and also the monitoring option as well. Very easy to adjust on the fly. Now we're going to give you a bit of an idea of the sound quality comparison to the SL150 which we reviewed previously and also the Zoom H4n. So you've been listening to the SL600 through this review at, to this point. I've not been using a pop shield with it as well just to give you an idea of a raw format. There's been no post-processing as well. And all the following clips you're going to hear as well are also unedited. So now is the SL150, just to give you a rough idea. Going from this one to the SL600 is quite a jump as well, but it's a very affordable jump as well. There's not too much of a kind of massive price difference for the actual quality and extra benefits you get from the SL600. But overall, the 150 is a very good value microphone as well. If you're still looking for um, a commentary or want to get started for YouTube, for example, this is still a very good mic. Um, but now we'll switch over to the Zoom h rent and you can see how that sounds. Okay guys, so this is a quick test with the Zoom H4 and I've got it currently set on the 120 degree mode. And you just need to kind of bear in mind that this is meant to be just a small and a portable recorder rather than a condenser microphone like the SL150 and the 600. But it will give you a rough idea of what you can expect as it's quite an expensive unit. I mean they're primarily meant for recording XLR input microphones and things of that nature but it does have a very good onboard solution. So this will give you, you know, kind of a rough idea of what you can expect in comparison to the other two mics. So I've been using this microphone for a number of weeks now and it's re basically replaced my other ones that I've been using such as the SE2200 Mark II and also the SL150. It's very easy to have the real-time adjustment as well and also the real-time playback as well is a really great feature to have. And also the colour looks great on any kind of desk, it also stands out from the crowd but also comes in at a very good price as well which is currently £150 at the time of recording. So if you want to get yourself a very good microphone with a lot of different adjustment features for a very good price, maybe you're starting out on YouTube or things like that, this may be one you want to have a little look at. All the links for it will be down in the description box below. A big thank you to Editor's Keys for sending this out for me to review, and we'll see you all again in the next video.